Hello and welcome to another video. You know, working with wood is what we do and love, but selling is the name of the game for a custom furniture or cabinet shop. In this short video, we'll take a look at some simple ways you can attract more customers to your custom shop. First and foremost, you should widen your net. When you're just getting started, take every job you can get. Be eager for the work because getting more business is the key to survival. It's also a great way to spread the word about what you do and maybe what you're going to specialize in once you get the opportunity and have enough business coming in. You'll want to sell direct to the customer or consumer whenever possible, but it's also important to network with interior designers, architects, builders, general contractors, and other large companies who may need to outsource their woodworking from time to time as they get too busy to do it themselves. Consider hiring students to hand out flyers in the neighborhoods that you're servicing as you deliver your custom woodworking. For example, if you've picked up a kitchen restoration job, use a flyer that lists all the other kitchen related products or services and anything else residential customers might be interested in. Thanks to the instant design capability of personal computers and the low cost of instant printing, you can design a flyer specifically for the neighborhood or actual street and personalize it as such. Let area residents know that you're refacing a kitchen on their street and that they could have their own kitchen redone too. Remember to list multiple services, offer free quotes, and give them an added incentive, such as mention this flyer and get a free key rack with any estimate. Get official t-shirts or jackets or buttons made that telegraph what you do. Be sure to wear your shirt proudly whenever you're in a Home Depot, a Lowe's, or even a small hardware store. This is where consumers go when they're fixing things or remodeling their homes. There are lots of consumers who would rather pay an expert like you than try to do it themselves. Keep your eyes and ears open and you can discover new business generating opportunities. Get a couple of magnetic signs made for your car or truck. You can make these as creative and colorful as possible so that they get noticed. When you're out making deliveries or installing cabinets on a busy street, you are potentially getting your brand name out there and chances are good that somebody will jot down your phone number and call you. You could do the same thing with a sandwich board that you keep in your vehicle and set up temporarily wherever you happen to be working. Build your network. Get to know the owner and employees at the hardware store, tile shop, lumber yard, sharpening service, tool supply, and so on. Let everybody know that you're eager for their business and open to providing whatever it is that they may need. Connect with everyone you meet. Be friendly and kind instead of pushy and salesy and you'll be surprised at how this can lead to business down the road as your name gets bandied about. You've got to be willing to let the world know about your custom woodworking shop, one person at a time. You can enhance this process even more by handing out small gifts like pens or pocket calendars with your name and phone number attached. Of course these will cost you some money so you'll want to be selective. But if somebody asks you if you can do 
blank, whatever it happens to be, and it's within your scope, they are a good prospect and somebody worth handing out a keychain or a ball cap to. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos. And please check out the link in the description below to really get your woodworking business moving forward.